hello and welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university in this tutorial i am going to show you how to create this arrow infographic design in powerpoint i have used six different arrows with different colors and you can see that when all arrows are marking or pointing towards the success i have used some nice colors some icons so let's see how to do this in powerpoint Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes and select oval shape and go to format and make height and width as 4.4 inches, make it align center and align middle, remove the outline, go to format properties. Under fill, you can increase the transparency area. Go to insert shapes and select arrow. Draw the arrow so that the, the head of the arrow should be in the circle or the oval shape. Make this also a transparency level and zoom in and make sure that the arrow is perfectly inside this one, the arrow head. The corner, just make sure that the corners are perfect. It looks like perfect for this then press ctrl d and bring one more here again ctrl d and the corner should be out the arrow corner the same what we did on the top it should be on the bottom and then just align it and make sure that this is perfectly sync with the circle or the oval shape. Select these three arrows, press Ctrl G to group it and duplicate, Ctrl D and rotate. horizontal and place the same way you have to spend a little bit time on alignment Okay, once you do the alignment, select all the objects. Under format, merge shape, say fragment, and delete the circle. And you can just select the, all the arrowheads and make transparency level to zero percent and you can change the color of each arrowhead with different colors
and the arrows as well make it transparency to zero and change the background color to light gray and this arrow I'm making it white And I'm just giving some shadow effect there. Go to shadow and select any shadow effect. So apply the same shadow effect for all the arrowheads. Now I'm just going to add some text here. The first one, the numbering. You can use one, two, three, four, or A, B, C, D. It's up to you to decide. Make it bold, white font. And press Ctrl D and copy to other arrows. And the last is six. And then you can add some description as well. Again, insert a text box, add your own description. In this case, I'm just going to use some Latin text, which equals LORM within brackets one. And reduce the font size. And you can align center, middle, or whatever, or you can justify. Add the text to all other arrows. Maybe you can just uh, change the font color, some to light gray. Then you can add some more shapes. I'm taking a rectangle and just adding a rectangle at the beginning of the arrow. And I'm going to use the same color which I have used for the arrowhead. First make it no outline and then under fill you can just select the, the pen and just add the colors there. So do the same thing for the remaining arrows and send to back.
Now I'm going to give some shadow effect for the arrows. Select one uh, rectangle shape. Make it no outline. And you can use some gradient fill, which I'm just going to use a uh, gray and the white. Select linear. Radial will not work here. So just select the linear and you can just maybe yeah, that can be okay for us and this one the transparency level i'm making it 100 percent tilt a little bit and send to back you can do the similarly press ctrl d and put it for each and every arrow and later you can just say send to back this you have to rotate it And select all the shadows and say send to back now apart from this i have downloaded few icons from www.thenounproject.com let me just repeat www.thenounproject.com you can get all your icons there just download it and use it in your application sorry in your presentation now i'm just going to select each group the objects by each arrow press ctrl g so that i can give some animation make sure that all the objects in that arrow has been selected just press ctrl g after you select So enable the animation, go to animation pane and select the, the cup and you can add the zoom effect, basic zoom. You can go to the properties and you can just say zoom from center or zoom from middle. Maybe in this case, I'll just say zoom out. And then I'm just selecting one arrow and I'm just going to give a fly in, fly in from left side and go to the properties. And you can increase the bounce level and timing you can make it to slow. Using the animation painter, you can animate the other arrows. For the right side arrow, you have to just change the effect options. This is from right. So let's 
uh, do a PowerPoint show. So arrow one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's it from me, friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.